God says, sometimes, you need to let go of the ones you love because I am taking them to places you were never destined to go. And I'm taking you to places they were never destined to go. Have peace, and remember all the goodness you shared with others. I love you. If you believe in God. Dear God, as we seek your face this morning we ask that you walk with us through this week. Thank you for ushering us into new mercies and sufficient grace. Lord, we've got evidence that you keep your promises. We are living in some of our answered prayers. You are faithful. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, please enter our home and bless us throughout this week. Wherever we may be, help us to overcome the world's temptations, the obstacles on our path, and the injustices of this world. Guide us to make the right choices in our lives and may our steps be smooth. Bless our homes, our families, our children, and our friends. Thank God for his boundless love. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. If you feel God is good to you, comment Amen. Hey God, I've been through a lot. I've learned how to take care of myself. But I've realized some of the things that I've learned can help me survive but not live. I don't want to be so guarded that I wall off my heart and show up to new relationships heartlessly. I can't poison my faith with the pain of my disappointments. Help me to unlearn what no longer is good for me. I don't want to just survive, I want to live. I don't want to just dream, I want to walk on the impossible. I don't want to push people away because of pain and call it discernment. Create in me a clean heart as I keep walking to the places we talk about. Solo. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you as humbly as I know how. I confess my sins, known and unknown. Lord, you know I'm not perfect, and I fall short every day of my life. I just want to take time out to say thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for my health, my family, my friends, the roof over my head, food on my table, and everything I have. Lord, you've done more than enough, and I'm eternally grateful. Amen. Don't skip this prayer thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. Forgive all my sins. Heal my past pain. I love you, I need you. Cover me, my family, and my friends with your protective shield. On this day, grant me faith, strength, and wisdom to God face any challenges that may arise in my family, and bless and protect all those in need of your help. If God has ever answered your prayer, comment Amen. My child, you are worrying too much. Remember, there is nothing too hard for me. God, you may not see it, but everything will work out in the end. Have faith. The Lord will not only give you opportunities to be blessed but also to be a blessing. Grab them all. Cry no more, beloved child of God. Your season has truly come. Comment, Amen, if you agree. God is saying to you today, I'm restoring your strength. You are being renewed and refreshed for better days. What the enemy meant for evil, I will turn it around for the good. Everything lost will be repaid and I will have the last word in your life. Joshua 1, 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. 
for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Lord, I lift my friend up to you right now. You know exactly what they are facing and you know what they need. I pray that no matter what happens, you give them the peace that only you can give. Help them to see that you are working, even when they don't feel it and can't see it. You're holding them together. Remind them of that tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life, whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. 1 John 5 11-12 Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. Proverbs 16 8 I don't know who needs to hear this but God can't move in your life if you're only partially submitting yourself to him and ignoring his voice. He needs your undivided attention and your whole heart that's willing to be obedient. He's calling you but you need to answer that call and listen. I used to always pray and ask God for more, but why would he give me more when I haven't even read his word yet today? Grace says even though. Grace says that while I fail, I'm still loved. Grace says that even though I don't deserve forgiveness, it's offered. Grace says try again. Grace doesn't make sense. It's big and confusing and overwhelming. But it's the greatest gift that could ever be offered to us. It's the gift God gives us time and time again. It's the gift that we are asked to give to others. Grace, my friends, is everything. When the extraordinary compassion of God our Savior and his overpowering love suddenly appeared in person, as the brightness of a dawning day, he came to save us. Not because of any virtuous deed that we have done but only because of his extravagant mercy. Titus 3 colon for dash 5 TPT Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I make hypocritical decisions. Yes, I fail. I stumble. I struggle. I am a mess. But I'm God's mess. And he can turn a mess into a masterpiece. Today, just trust. Trust who you are, where you are and who you're becoming. Trust that God is carefully filtering out aspects of your life in order to bring you to your best and highest self. Trust in your strengths, skills and abilities. Trust that rejection is protection in disguise, whether you end up seeing it now or later. Slowly trust that page by page, chapter by chapter, the book of your life is becoming the most beautiful masterpiece ever written. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Though we experience every kind of pressure, we're not crushed. At times we don't know what to do, but quitting is not an option. We are persecuted by others, but God has not forsaken us. We may be knocked down, but not out. 2 Corinthians for colon 8-9 Yet through his powerful declaration of acquittal, God freely gives away his righteousness. His gift of love and favor now cascades over us, all because Jesus, the Anointed One, has liberated us from the guilt, punishment, and power of sin. Romans 3.24 Focus on Jesus. Talk to him.
Be with him. Pursue him. In God's perfect timing, he will reveal beautiful pieces of what he has in store for you. There's joy in the stillness of waiting. He knows your future. So don't worry about it. Focus on him. A prayer for those who have been struggling with their relationship with the Lord, Lord, I pray that you would open my eyes, my ears and my heart to see, hear and know what you are speaking to me. I pray that in all seasons of my life, you are the first person I run to. I pray that the more time I spend with you, the less I want to spend away from you. I pray that I will constantly be reminded of how much I need you. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Romans 6 4 Lord this morning, we thank you for another day. We thank you for waking us up and starting us on our way. We ask that you would guide our steps. Don't allow our emotions to get in the way of what you have for us. Help us to see and remember what you've already done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Colossians 3 12-13 NLT